In this challenge, I want to learn basics of data analytics in our studio using just chat GPT and no other resources. Let's see if we succeed. So welcome to day three of our challenge to learn data analytics in our, in our studio just using chat GPT. Please check day one on the dataset empty cars, which we loaded. Again, this dataset is included in our studio. We don't have to look for it. And day two was dedicated to plot in a graph and we did this beautiful graph with weight on the horizontal axis, miles per gallon on the vertical axis, the size of the bubble is a horsepower and we also added a trend line. Now the first thing you want to do with your data set is actually trying to plot a relationship between the data sets but of course it's not the only available type of graph which you can use in ChatGPT and uh, during our day two we asked for additional types of graphs and ChatGPT provided a list of suggestions. So we can check these suggestions. So here we had also a bar chart, a histogram and a box plot. So let's ask ChatGPT to generate, uh, please uh, write an R code for a histogram uh, of miles per gallon. Right, again, let's, let's start with a simple one. And uh, again, ChatGPT conveniently provides the code uh, explanation. So let's copy this code, right? So, and again, here's the explanation. And again, the titles have been added here. It's not just the code, but it's also the titles. So again, I'm coming back to my original uh, file, right? And I try now to plot. So again, I don't need uh, to load data set again. I just plot what's been given. So I highlight it and control enter and I get a histogram, right? Uh, well, this histogram is not quite good, right? Let's make it more interesting. Let's see if chat GTP succeeds. And what I want to do here first, let's do something simple. So let's ask to update the code uh, to change the color and to increase the number of beams. Please uh, update the code or histogram to add uh, 10 beans instead of five and use, let's say, orange color, right? Let's use a different color. And ChatGPT will attempt to do that. So let's see, okay, let's copy the code. Again, we have a nice explanation that we have 10 beans. Of course, in, like, in this case, you have only 32 cars. So it kind of doesn't make much sense to have 10 beans, but this is just for illustration, right? When you work with, with your data set, you can just update the data set uh, and rerun this code and get uh, quite similar. So once you get control enter and you see it works, right? So again, as I mentioned, it's not the perfect one. So we have like even empty beans here, but it followed exactly uh, what we asked it to do. Let's do something more challenging, right? Let's ask ChatGPT to use a histogram with five beans again. I think 10 maybe is overkill. So uh, please update the code to have uh, five beans. But also let's ask it to put average horse power in each bean on the graph. And again, that's not an easy task. Let's see if ChatGPT succeeds. I'm trying to find it weak spots, right? Maybe some things will not work. Uh, but essentially what I want to do here, I want to have on this chart somewhere on my bars to have like the average horsepower, right? Like I have miles per gallon, right? Uh, distribution, but I also want to have some additional information here. So let's see if uh, ChatGPT can do it. And again, this code becomes complicated, right? And uh, if I look at it, I, I worked with R Studio quite a long period of time, but again, I'm not sure if it will work, right? So I have to run it, of course, right? And that's interesting that, you know, if I had to find it on some online resource like uh, R documentation or Stack Overflow, it will take a while, right? So here I can do it quite quickly. So let's me, let me rerun this new histogram. So again, I highlighted, click Ctrl Enter. Wow. And it's actually here, right? You can see that it put the average in each bean. Uh, well, not quite uh, the way I wanted it, right? It's like has this incorrect rotation, right? So we can try to ask to improve it. So can you improve the code to put average horsepower in each bean? 
in the middle of the beam. So let's see if it, if it can help us here. Because what it's done, it's actually not quite convenient, right? It's sort of like correct, incorrect rotation, right? And it's not like in the center. Let's see if it can improve. Okay, so let's try the code. Go back to our studio. And again, I don't need uh, empty cars each time. So let me run this new updated code. Uh, it's actually not working as it should be working. And I think here we probably need to check online sources because again, like you see here, like we, it's, it's actually didn't do what, what we wanted to do. So let's inform ChatGPT that the code didn't work. So we, we need to know like the weak spots of ChatGPT so that it can do a lot, but of course not everything. Um, correct uh, rotation of average horsepower. And let's offer on top or bottom of the histogram. So let's see if it can succeed now. You see like ChatGPT apologizes, but let's see if it can fix the error. Let's copy that code. Again, I'm going back to my R Studio and I'm rerunning it. Aha, uh -huh. and we get the error message. And it says actually, this is not valid for atomic vectors. Well, it's not bad. We found one thing which doesn't work well in ChatGPT, but at least we tried it. So tomorrow we'll have the next day four and we will explore additional examples of data analytics with ChatGPT. Thank you and see you tomorrow.